Hello, beautiful souls. This is Christy with Art of Awakening. Thank you for watching and much love to you today. And this is just a quick reading. Um, it's April 19th, 2019. And it is a full moon. I know I just did a full moon reading for the coming week, but this is just a daily reading and, uh, you know, really uh, pertinent to today or whatever day you happen to land here. If you land here at a different time, different time in the future, um, you know, this is for you as well. Uh, the painting here is one that uh, just happened to be on my table. It's a, a painting that I'm going to be shipping out pretty soon here. That's why it's here. But just kind of right off the bat horse i'm getting freedom here a lot of freedom it might be a really good time to get outside get outside and move a little bit and just enjoy being in your body today this is a really like this is like big guidance coming in just enjoy the body enjoy stretching enjoy what it feels like to breathe enjoy what it feels like to be on the planet today i'm pulling um cards from my spirit animal awareness deck and uh, this is what the cover looks like here. Oop, leave that there. Just leave it out there. Okay, so vulture is the first one. And I always think of purification when I look at vulture. Um, you know, they are a carrion bird, and they really are a purifier of of the uh, the, the 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 ecosystem. Um, and I just feel like this is a real period of purification that we are in. Um, you know, root chakra work would be a really good thing to do if you are feeling unsettled at all, because there is a lot of unsettled energy around, like the Notre Dame, you know, incidents, and just, you know, it's, it's just, I'm kind of feeling like there may be some more shakeups in store for us, and let's just have, you know, just, just like not freak out when these things happen when we have a really strong root chakra then we can just sort of like the weebles wobble if you're old enough to remember weebles there are these little toys that <laughs> that um these little toy people that were like eggs and they would just sort of pop back up if they were knocked down and that's what we need to do i mean if if you um can just imagine yourself like a little rubber duck and you know, if you get pulled under the waves, you pop right back up. So any kind of root chakra work would be good. And again, also grounding into the physical body, really getting into um, being in in the body is, is going to be really, really helpful both today and in the weeks and months ahead. So exercise, feed yourself well. Uh, sea lion. Um, Again, I mean, the first thing coming up for sea line, even on the card, is grace under pressure. And we're looking at, I mean, they can go down, they can dive way, way deep down and really withstand a lot of pressure of this animal. Um, and, and it has to do with breath control. So again, this is part of like being in the body and really using the breath to maintain a sense of peace and calm regardless of what's going on around us. And I'm sort of getting to the feeling that um, this is kind of a reading that <laughs> is more general than just today, but it could be, you know, today too. But I'm feeling like today is any day, right? Today is any day. It's the present moment. And if you feel like you're behind it all, if you're feeling like, like, especially in regards to the physical body, if like you haven't been really exercising or much lately or, you know, for, for a long time, there's no like behind. You can't, <coughs> don't, don't think of it as, as being behind. Oh, I'm so out of, out of shape. Think of it as I love my body and I'm going to do the best thing for my body today and whatever that is. And that could be taking a nap. It could be going out for a walk in the sunshine. You know, it could actually be going to the gym and with lifting weights, but don't like listen to your body. Don't listen to what your mind thinks your body should do, right? Um, you know, because your mind's going to go and tell you, oh, I need to go to the gym and lift a bazillion weights and, um, you know, hop in the pool and swim like five miles. And, and like your mind is going to be like, oh, you're not good enough and you got to do this, right? But your body will tell you exactly what is needed. Um, 
you know, what, what the next best step is in a way that is both invigorating and strengthening and gentle enough that you're not going to hurt yourself. Okay, and uh, last one is mouse. Um, hmm. Again, I'm getting just kind of behind yourself today. Be kind to yourself. Look, look at the mouse. He's so vulnerable. And yet he can accomplish so much. But not if he's like, you know, so scared he can't come out of his hole because he's got to be able to move around. Again, there's this movement idea, getting out, um, moving the body. Uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of movement from mouse but in a kind way. So I think the overall message here is let's, you know, this is a very good time right now to focus on the physical body and enjoying it, enjoying being good to it and feeling what it feels like, the empowering things that can happen when we start respecting and honoring and loving and enjoying the body and everything that it can do, really appreciating being grateful for the body, you know, spend a little time today saying thank you to your body because it's an amazing thing. It's really what allows us to take our spiritual purpose and do something with it, right? And, and make an impact and, and you know, it's, it, it, it allows us to experiment and to create. So, so be kind to the body, listen to it, honor it and have fun. Have fun with it. Enjoy. So that's today's reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, I really um, appreciate and I'm so thankful for your views and your comments, especially. Um, if you've liked this video, please like it. And thank you so much to those who have reached out to me, who have ordered sessions. Um, that really means a lot and it also helps to keep the channel going. So have a lovely, lovely full moon and I will catch you again later.